This week on Performance TV, Joe and Kathy check out the easy way to load up your truck. And later on, learn how you can start up your own car detailing business, as well as make custom engravings with lasers. Next on Performance TV. joining us for another edition of Performance TV, where this week we're gonna start it right off with helping you use the bed of your truck a whole lot better. Hauling items up to a thousand pounds without having to have, you know, two or three guys busting their backs to get those items in the truck. And that's why we have Brian Schlegel with us from Schlegel Manufacturing. What is this unit and how is it gonna help us? Well, what it is, it's a bumper hoist. It's a self-contained unit that, uh, Basically, it, it has the pump, the hydraulic pump. It hydraulically unfolds uh, as a boom. It comes out that rotates 360 degrees, so you okay. can pick up anything that weighs this up to 1,000 pounds and load it in the back of your truck. So it's going to make your, you know, the bed of your truck so much more useful without having to have a whole crew of people and busting their backs at the same time. Right. Yeah, those work great for construction uh, companies or utility companies. Even the general person that you know wants to buy parts or an engine. You're gonna be able to just use this themselves. Yep. Now this is going to replace the bumper on the rear of your truck. Right, so you'll remove the original bumper and hitch and use, you'll bolt on these vehicle specific mounts. Okay. And then these will, this bumper will bolt right up to that. So this will work on, on any like 1500 or 2500? Yep, any half ton through one ton. What, through one ton truck? Yep. It just depends on which model you have and that, that's where the brackets change. Right. And everything that we're gonna need for this because we are replacing the bumper on the truck, we're still gonna be able to mount our license plate and, and you guys have thought of all of that too. Right, you'll be able to mount your license plate. It comes with a license plate light. It also has spot to mount your trailer plug okay. and also reverse sensors. Okay, so it's completely gonna replace the bumper. It's also gonna replace needing a whole bunch of people to lift items all the way up to a thousand pounds. Now we're gonna find out how to install it and let's check in with Joe. We're over here at the rear of our Dodge with Tyson from Schlegel. Now Tyson, this is a pretty simple install. Someone can do it at home in about an afternoon, but there were some unique challenges to this truck. Yeah, with the, uh, with the box frame on the Dodges, you have to lift up the box a little bit to be able to get the mounts slid in to the factory. The fact it'll bolt to the factory frame. There's no drilling required, and you can even use the existing bolt. So we have wedged the bed up so we can do our work. Now, the first thing we did was disconnect the wiring harness. Underneath, disconnect all the wiring, the sensors, the wiring harness, got all that out of there. Then we hit our bolts with a little blaster to loosen things up, pulled them out. The hitch, the bumper, all came right off. Now we are ready to install these brackets. How does that work? Uh, it's just very simple. You pick them up, slide them over top of the frame. They're very substantial. If we're gonna be hoisting up a thousand pounds, you would want it to be that way too. And of course it replaces your factory bumper, your factory hitch. If you got sensors back there, they can go back in. You guys have thought of everything. Correct. And you supply bolts and hardware. Correct. Everything comes with it. It should just bolt right up, go right to work. Now again, in our case, we have lifted the bed of the truck to give ourselves easy access here. And now, are you going to torque these bolts or are you going to leave them a little loose? Is there another adjustment we're going to have to make? We'll leave these hand tight until we mount the bumper up. Just There'll be a little bit of play just so we can get everything lined up okay. Obviously, uh, very important to make sure this is done right. And the idea that you could lift an engine into the bed of your truck by yourself, to me, like there's been thousands of times where I've wanted to do something, but I had to call a friend, right? Yeah. I had to call yep. a friend like, hey, are you available? No, I'm not available, and then I can't do it. Yeah. And it you know, the, the cost of the bumper is, is minimal compared to like a back injury or something like that. Um, somebody trying to do something themselves, um, get hurt. Certainly. It makes a two person job, one person job. And in this case, you can do work on a farm, you can do industrial work, you can do exactly. a lot of different things 
when you have this hoist. All right, what we're gonna do is we're gonna finish getting these mounts on. We're gonna install the hoist when we come back, so stick around with more Performance TV. Performance TV is brought to you by rockauto.com. All the parts your car will ever need. Forged Off-Road, specializing in rebuilding and upgrading stock Raptor shocks. Warren Diesel, doing our best to bring you quality parts at an affordable price. And by Stealth Performance Products, providing diesel performance solutions. Welcome back to Performance TV. We have got the quick lift hoist in position at the back of our Dodge. And Tyson, this thing can lift a thousand pounds, but it will be the last time you need to call your buddies because it's important to get it lined up here at the rear of the truck. So I would recommend taking a little time. We've got it on jack stands. We've got the back of the truck jacked up just to make sure those holes line up as best as possible. We've gotten that to this point. What's next? Uh, we just got to put four bolts on each side and, um, and then tighten those tighten those all up. You'll knock out your side first, then I'll do my side. And again, jacking up the truck, making sure that the hoist is positioned on jack stands. Very smart idea because it is heavy. In the end, it does lift a thousand pounds. And there's storage built into the bumper as well. It is a bumper, it is a hoist. And the fact that it's got storage built in for uh, obviously the mechanism to raise and lower is all very, very cool. Tyson has got one in already. Now this area, you might think, well, are we gonna be able to see the under of the truck? And the answer is no, you guys have a solution for that. Yes, we have a filler plate that goes in here that will block that view. You just have thought of everything. Now I'm impressed by how substantial it is. This thing is not going anywhere. Give me a little pry right there. And we'll get this one st started here. Now there's gonna be a lot of weight on this, so we wanna make sure we have as many threads as possible in position. And I'm sure it will take some adjusting as we center it on the truck. That's important too. You guys have slots there. So Correct. you wanna center yes. the bumper. So it's all lined up, yep. That is perfect. All right, so we have two bolts on the top on my side, two on Tyson's side. It's centered on the truck just about. Tyson, what is gonna be next for us in this project? Uh, we're gonna finish the bottom part of the bolts, snug them all up, align it with the truck, and then we will lift the mast and put the filler plate in. Okay, we're gonna demonstrate this thing. What we've gotta do is we've gotta wire it. We've gotta make sure everything is done, we'll get it all squared away, and then we're gonna demonstrate this bad boy. While we do that, you check out this. We've got a lot of parts to de-rust today, mm -hmm. Natasha, but one of the questions that we're gonna have is, how much life is left in our evaporust? Yes. And how do we take care of this bath? Right. So here's some real handy tips to take care of your evaporust bath. When you first put it in a tank, mark it with a line right at the water level because evaporust, the chemical itself doesn't evaporate, but water does. Mm -hmm. And if you lose too much water, your evaporust is gonna slow down. If you come back and you notice that this line has dropped below your line, just add tap water back to it, stir it up, and your product will go right back to being the same old fantastic evaporust. Also, we can look at the color of it, and it's getting dark, but you can still see through it, which is a good sign. That means we've got a lot of life left in this evaporust. When you put your hand out like this and pour evaporust in it and mm -hmm. you can't see through it, it's time to get some new evaporust. Right. So what do you do with your old evaporust? Well, that's even better. Take it outside, put it in a pump-up sprayer, and mix it 10 to 1 with water. Mm -hmm. It's chelated iron, just like iron fertilizer. Spray it on your grass. It'll keep your grass green for up to six weeks. So it's safe, it's easy to use, it's easy to take care of, and when you get done, it keeps your yard looking fantastic. It is, it is truly biodegradable and reusable. It is. For more information on Evaporust, check out our website, www.evapo-rust.com. Well, all right, we are ready to demonstrate. Brian has joined us, of course, for the good part. We have got our small block Chevrolet here. We're gonna put it in the back of this Dodge. And we're gonna start by literally pulling the pin. Yep, pull the pin. I'll grab the controller. Very cool. I am super excited about this, the payoff. Yeah. There it is, four in use. Go ahead and unlatch it. Unlatch it. 
All right. And I'll pull the pin to extend it. It's got a two stage and we only need the first stage. The way I see it is this is all two man job. With this you can do it one man. Correct. If you're an engine guy, like how many times have you been through this? Okay, we just swing it in. Oh wow. And just like that, let me tell you. First of all, putting something in the rear of a truck on an engine stand is impossible. It would be on a cradle normally. And the fact that we just did that in like less than one minute is incredible. You guys have got it going on. The fit, the finish, everything. And all we did was connect the wires and tighten up everything. And just like that, we're good to go. Correct. Now, what would you say, uh, obviously, some of the other uses, engines, anything big, anything heavy, and it folds back up just as quickly as it came apart. Right, yeah, the, when you need it, it's there. When you don't need it, it's out of the way. Let's pull it back out. And while we do that, we're gonna take a quick break. For more information, hit their website. This is incredible, I wanna get one. We'll be back with more Performance TV after this. Performance TV, coming to you from Borla Commerce Park. Welcome back to Performance TV. Here on the show, we get to feature a lot of great products, and in many cases, great entrepreneurial opportunities. We got one of those right here. Sue from Autobahn Detail is here to tell everybody how they can start up their own detailing business. So, Sue, what do you got? So, Joe, yeah, we have an entire car care system for anybody that wants to start their own mobile car wash business tomorrow. We think it's a really exciting opportunity. If somebody wants to go into business today, they could actually come to our website, purchase everything they need from products to equipment, uh, high quality products, and literally start their business tomorrow for really not a whole lot of money. Now I know a lot of people are thinking, well I could go to the store and buy some soap and a rag and start my own business. Why is what you guys have done a better way? So we really went to the marketplace to find what we feel are some of the highest quality products out there. And we have a very select brand of product. We get products from vendors all the time and we use the products and if it doesn't meet our standards of what we feel is high quality, we will not offer them. So we've really went to the marketplace, we've done our homework and we feel that these are the best quality products that you can really find right now. And you have a range for detailers who are just starting out and maybe they just want to turn cars, wash cars, to people who want to uh, go to the higher level with various paints and surfaces. Absolutely. So like if you look over here, we have the car wash, you know, someone just starting out maybe doesn't have a whole lot of skill um, and is just going to, you know, go and mobile or car wash. Um, you'll have everything here. Um, a more experienced car wash detailer will start getting into your paint correction and decontamination, which is your packages of your product right here. And then for your, your seasoned detailer, um, this is when you start getting into your ceramic coating and polishing. That is great, that is great. And I understand you've also done some innovation, having spent a lot of time with products, you realized some things needed adjusting to fit your uh, standards. Tell us about that. Yeah, so we looked at a lot of products out there and we really took some of the products and enhanced them, gave them our Autobahn detail uh, a touch, if you will. So we have an all-in-one cart pressure washer. It includes water filtration, all its accessories. And we also developed a really cool bucket system for your wash, wheels, and uh, rinse to prevent decontamination of your paints and, and your cars. No more runaway buckets. Well, we got to see this stuff in action. So we've got Kathy outside who will demonstrate. Well, Joe, I'm not going to demonstrate. We're going to let the pros do that. And as you can see, James is finishing up, putting the foam on what was a very dirty excursion. But James, that is not what you started with to prep the vehicle. It wasn't the foam. Yes, Kathy. The first step to washing the car is basically we rinse it down. We want to make sure we 
remove any loose dirt or any road debris from driving the car. Okay. And from there, what we do is we attach our foam gun to it and we put a soap that's pH balanced and then we just spray the whole car from top to bottom and then we let the soap actually set in so it pulls away the dirt from the body of the car, the panels, sure. and then we rinse it off. Okay. When they were inside, they were talking about the bucket system and you guys have invented something pretty cool for the bucket system. Yes, that is correct. As you know, the bucket system has been around for years. We just put our twist on it. Basically what we did is we uh, created an aluminum bracket with stainless steel hardware. The reason why we did that is we wanted something more compact, something sure. that was a little bit more sturdy, and bigger casters. Bigger casters, three inch casters, yes. so it's gonna roll around a lot easier, but it's also not gonna roll. It's not gonna roll down. We actually integrated two brakes. One of the brakes being right here on the two bucket system. Right here, you just, what you do is you adjust the ball at the bottom to how high the surface is where you're at, and then you can apply it and then it won't roll down. Three bucket system is a pretty good idea so you don't get the wheel water in with everything else. You know, we're gonna let this foam sit on here and I cannot wait to see how everything turns out. Well, now that we let the foam sit and do its job, James is not rinsing with just any old regular water. Their system has filtration. So you're not gonna have to worry about anything being in the water. You've got pure water that is rinsing all this stuff and that's really gonna give you a much better spot free rinse on your vehicle. You know, even if you're out in the sun or whatever, you're not gonna have to worry about it. And, and James, that's, that's what's really cool about what you guys have put together. There are filters. Yes, so basically what we did is we wanted an all-in system. There's pressure washers already on the, on the market, but we wanted to simplify everything. We wanted to have a cart with filtration. The filtration basically is a filter of media that takes all, all of the minerals and stuff like that. Yeah, because you're dealing with all kinds of different water all over the place. Yes. You never know what you would have to work with. Exactly. And so what's behind it is once you rinse off all the soap with the filtration water, is it basically leaves spotless. There you, you don't go. don't have to dry it. That's what we want because we want to leave with a clean vehicle, and we definitely have that here. Find out more. Go to AutobahnDetail.com, and we'll have more Performance TV right after this. Performance TV is brought to you by Stage 8 Fasteners, home of the world's best locking header bolt. For more information, go to stage8.com. Exotic Play, pool table installation, service, and repair. Metal Miser, vertical bandsaws and blades. And by Borla, the world's most winning exhaust. And we're back with more of Performance TV. You know we get a chance to talk about a lot of very unique products, parts, innovations, and sometimes even tools. And that's why we have Tony here with us from AP Laser. Tony, we're working on a really cool hot rod project today. This is going to be neat when we get it done. And I know we have it paused. Do you want to go ahead and get it started back up for us again? Sure, Kathy. The AP Laser is a really unique tool, a unique machine. What makes AP Laser different? There's a lot of lasers on the market, Kathy, but our patented open architecture is what sets the AP laser apart from every other laser. There's no fixed bottom to our laser system, so you can fit any size object underneath, or you can actually pick the laser up and set it on the floor on a larger object and engrave any size object. Well, we're working with a wood project here today, and, and that's kind of interesting. Yeah, uh, we got here a little bit early, so we toured around Knoxville, and we ran into uh, Freddy's Pallet Works, and they're taking pallets, reclaiming them, and making furniture out of them. So I thought it would be an interesting piece. We have this table in here. Yep. But you can also do things that would be more flat or smaller pieces yeah. because you do have the roller unit. Yep, it does have the, the uh, utility table that goes underneath. It's powered, so you can adjust it for different sized objects. Also comes with the rotary attachment. So all of our lasers come as a turnkey package. You get all the accessories. You don't have to worry about what to purchase. Everything comes ready to rock and roll, and you hit the ground running. Well, you know, a lot of people are doing this to add to their business mm -hmm. or start a business. Yep. And we're going to check in with Joe and one of AP Laser's customers. We're over here with Chris from Legacy Laser. Chris, you made all this stuff. How did you get into this? Well, I was told to diversify and to, you know, don't put all your eggs in one basket. So we own a landscape company, but we want to do something different. And who doesn't want a laser? Everybody wants a laser. Right? 
So yeah, we started working with some acrylics and wood, and uh, you can tell what, what we've been uh, producing. Now it's almost like a second business for you. Do you consider yourself more of an entrepreneur that got into this or a, a hobbyist or an artist for, for that matter? And we bought it with the intentions to, to start another business. One, something that the kids can take over eventually and, uh, and like I said, diversify. Now tell me about some of the things you've done. I see some cool patriotic acrylics. I see some wood. It looks like you're branching out into some marketing for companies. Yes, we're trying to do logos, some brand specific stuff, military stuff, but we're doing a multi-layered LED backlit acrylics. And all of it's custom made by us from the bases. We wire them, we put the LEDs inside of the, uh, the acrylic, and then we fire them up. And where do you sell these? We're on Etsy, we're on, uh, we have our own Facebook page, we have uh, uh, .com, and any, anywhere we could sell them. That is so cool. The American dream, as they say. <laughs> That's right. I love it. Chris, I think you're doing a great job, and I see you even made some performance TV stuff. I did. We have a uh, caliper and rotor for you, and we also have a nice hand and wrench with your logo on it. Now, is it complicated? Were you able to dive right in? There's a small learning curve, but uh, with the tech support at AP, they're phenomenal 24 hours a day. I spent probably 20 hours a day on the phone with them for the first couple of days getting it up and running. But uh, after that, it's, it's a blast. Well, you've done a great job. It is incredible. I absolutely love it. Let's go back over to Kathy and see how that table is coming out. Wow, the work that we can do with an AP laser never ceases to amaze me. Tony, the table turned out great. Thank you. You know, and not just the wood and not just one piece, but you know, we see a lot of people making commemorative type items for a special date or working with all different types of material. Absolutely. And we've got people doing uh, Yeti cups, uh, glasses, any kind of drinkware, things like that, with the rotary attachment uh, to just plaques, awards, all kinds of things just to celebrate any event. You know, I've even seen where folks have powder coated something and then etched it off and just turned into some really neat stuff as and well. really cool stuff. And not just the size AP laser that we see here, but you guys do have some different ones as well. Yeah, this is one of our larger ones. There's one larger than this and then we've got a few smaller. So depending on your needs, we've got a laser to fit them. And you guys help the folks get started too. Absolutely, Kathy. It's, you're not just getting all the laser and all the accessories. With AP laser, you're getting 24-7 uh, technical support based in Lansing. Michigan uh, so somebody's gonna pick up the phone anytime you need help there you uh, go and three year warranty it's ready to rock and roll there you go and you can find out more by going to aplaser.com hey that's all we have time for on this week's performance TV if you have a product that you would like to see featured on the show email Jeff at masters we'll see you next time around for more of performance TV